Hi everyone. Uh, continue from the previous video, which I have discussed the uh, area of a region from question one to four. So here we continue for the question five. Um, given y equals to seven minus x square, we need to sketch the graph of uh, y equals to seven minus x square. Here I have my uh, x axis and y axis. This is my x axis, y axis. And how do you sketch uh, 7 minus x squared? We know that uh, y equals to negative x squared will be the um, pa uh, parabola, okay, parabola graph, okay, parabolic, and uh, it will pass us through the origin uh, for the maximum point. At the maximum point, it will pass us through the origin. So now you have a negative x squared plus 7, means that your graph is go will go up for 7 units. So the graph will be roughly like that. And it passes through the y equals to 7. Yeah, the maximum point will be at the y equals to 7. And uh, now we need to, uh, after you have sketched, okay, uh, we have uh, two uh, roots from this uh, graph. Obviously, we have uh, two roots. We can find the two roots by just uh, equate the y equals to 0. You equate y equals to 0, you have x squared equals to uh, 7 means that the x equals to positive negative uh, square root of 7. So very um, common sense, this is a negative uh, square root of 7, this is a positive square root of 7. After you have sketched graph, you can just label it y equals to 7 minus x squared. And b, find the area enclosed by the graph, the curve, and the x-axis between the line x equals to negative 1 and x equals to 2. And a square root of 7 is roughly 2.6. 2.6. So a negative 1 will be uh, somewhere here. And the 2 will be also less than a square root of 7, but it close to square root of 7. So here will be the 2. Then you can uh, shade the region that you want. Basically, we want to find the area of this region. Then now you can get your area. This is your, this is your A, and the B will be find the area means that you need to integrate. Area will be integrate from a negative one to two, and the function is uh, seven minus x squared, because the area is bounded by the curve. So you just integrate the curve function, and uh, you integrate with respect to x. Integrate seven, you have a seven x. Integrate x squared, you have a s cubed over 3. Put in your lower limit and upper limit. So to put in, to substitute in the lower limit, upper limit, I will uh, write down two brackets first. And then uh, for the first bracket, I'm going to substitute the 2 inside. I got 14 minus uh, 8 over 2. Alright, this is a substituting um, the 2 into, into our integrated function. And substitute negative 1 inside, you have a negative 7 minus a negative 1 over 3. So with the axis of calculator, you can calculate your final answer. Uh, sorry, this has to be 3. Okay, this has to be 3. So uh, you have an 8 over 3 here. This is 8 over 3. Finally, you have the answer 18 units squared. Now we proceed to the next question. 6. Given y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 3. And uh, you need to sketch the graph of this. Shade the region bounded by the uh, curve. x axis. x equals to 1 and x equals to 3. To sketch the quadratic graph, firstly, we may try to find the roots first. If it has the roots, then we can uh, equate the y equals to 0. From there, you factorize. And later on, you solve for the x. The x that you solve is actually the roots of the graph. Alright? So from here, we can see that we get the two roots. First one is x equals to 3. The second one is x equals to 1. So now we can uh, try to sketch these two points on our axis. So probably you can say this is 1 somewhere here and the 3 is here. Now you can, you know that this graph having the minimum point because the A 
A is a positive, positive x squared. So we know that the shape is like that. Now we just follow the shape and pass it through the 1 and 3. Go up. Okay, so this is a curve. Basically, this is a curve of y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 3. Okay, after you have sketched it, you will have uh, to, maybe uh, this is the y-intercept. Okay, so y-intercept is quite important for graph sketching. So you can find the uh, y-intercept by just uh, substitute x equals to 0. You have uh, 3. Substitute x equals to 0. You got y equals to 3. So the y-intercept is uh, 3. After you have sketched the graph, you need to shade the region bounded by the curve and the x-axis. x equals to 1 and x equals to 3. So basically, this is the region that you want. This region is bounded by the curve, the x-axis, and x equals to 1, x equals to 3. So now, how do we get this uh, region? This region, okay, take note that uh, if 4 under the x-axis, if you integrate, you will get a negative value. So uh, to find the area, we need to impose the uh, modulus sign for it. Okay, every operation, you will do it in the modulus. Okay, so uh, finally, you will get positive value because area, it won't be negative, right? So now you just integrate from 1 to 3. The curve is uh, x squared minus 4x plus 3. You integrate with respect to x. Alright, because of the uh, area is 4 under the x axis, we need to put modulus again. Now, we just integrate. We get the x cubed over 3 minus 4x squared over 2 plus 3x. Then put in your lower limit, 1, and upper limit, 3. And all this will be inside the modular sign. Then now you can just simplify before you substitute. Simplify the first. Alright, then you can substitute your lower limit and upper limit. So uh, I will prepare two brackets again for the substitution of the limits. Then substitute 3 inside, you will have 27 over 3. And a 9 multiplied by 2 will be 18 plus 9 minus substitute 1 inside, you have 1 over 3 minus 2 plus 3. So again, with axis of calculator, you can get your final answer. Actually, uh, after you calculate, you will get negative 4 over 3. So since there is a modulus, change the negative of 4 over 3 back to the positive because we refer to the area. Area is always positive. We got a 4 over 3 uh, unit square. Similar to the question 6, we have a quadratic graph, quadratic function, sketch a graph. So uh, to sketch a graph, I will test, I will try to uh, look for the roots first. Huh? Equate the y equals to 0 and try to factorize your function. You have a x, x, 6, 1. Okay, or 6, 1 fail. Uh, I think 6, 1 cannot be. So uh, we try 3, 2. Because uh, uh, 6 uh, consists of uh, 3 multiplied by uh, 2. So we can try 3, 2. Negative, negative. So we can expand back, see whether we get back this function or not. To make sure that uh, our factorization is correct. Then from here, I got my s equals to 3, s equals to 2. After you have the root, you can try to sketch your graph now. Sketch your y-axis, label your x-axis and y-axis. And the 2, maybe is around here, 3 is here. So you, you know that uh, you, you look at this uh, coefficient of the x-square is positive because it's 1, right? So it means that your graph will be in this shape has the minimum point. So we can sketch the graph, start from the top and then go through the 2 and 3 and go up. And you try to uh, trace your graph, uh, your curve to be a parabolic form. And now you can see that you have a y-intercept here. How do you get the y-intercept? Same as uh, question 6, you will substitute the x equals to 0. When you put the x in uh, as a 0, you will have y equals to 6. This means that the y-intercept is 6. Then you label your graph. Label your graph. 
after you have done the part A, this is a part A, you can find the region of the area, uh, area of the region bounded by the curve, the x axis, and x equals to 2, x equals to 3. So basically, we are referring to this area, this region. Alright? Then now I'm going to find this region. Again, the region is fall under the x axis. So uh, we know that when we integrate, you will get uh, you will get a negative value. So area always uh, taking positive value. So we need to put a modulus sign to make sure later on it will convert back our answer into positive. So we just integrate from two to three. The function is uh, x squared minus five x plus six. Integrate with respect to x. Put modulus. Integrate as usual. Have a x cubed over 3 minus 5x squared over 2 plus 6x. Then just uh, substitute in your, uh, put your lower limit and uh, upper limit over here. And don't forget the modular sign. Then get ready your substitution of the upper limit and uh, lower limit into the second bracket. Substitute 3 inside, you have a 27 over 3 minus... Uh, 45 over 2 plus uh, 18 minus substitute 2 inside you will have 8 over 3 minus 20 over 2 plus 12 then calculate to get your final answer you will have a negative 1 over 6 so the modular sign will convert it back to the positive you get 1 over 6 unit squared Move to the question 8. Find the area of the region bounded by y equals to 4x squared, the y axis, and y equals to 4 and y equals to 1. So we don't have that any idea about where is the region. We need to sketch the graph. Alright, sketch the graph, you need the axis first. So of y equals to 4x squared, you know the shape of the y equals to x squared is a parabolic graph and passes through the origin. So if the x squared is multiplied by 4, it won't affect the shape of the graph. It only will affect the um, gradient of the graph. It will go fast, go up faster or go down faster. So the shape still will be remain the same. It's a parabolic form. And it passes through the origin. We have this curve. This curve y equals to 4x squared. Now we want to get the area bounded by this curve. And the y axis, y equals to 1, y equals to 1. Maybe you can say this is a y equals to 1 and y equals to 4, somewhere here. So basically the region that you want is here, which I shade with the red line. Alright, you want the x equals to uh, y equals to x squared and 4 x squared, y as this, and y equals to 4, y equals to 1. So now you want to get this area, you just... Uh, need to integrate with respect to y. Before you integrate with respect to y, you need to find the x in terms of in terms of y. You have a 4x squared equals to y. So x squared equals to y over 4, right? So now to get the x in terms of y, you have a x equals to um, positive negative square root of y over 2. So this means that the right hand side curve uh, the curve at the right hand side is uh, taking the, um, I use the red color. This is taking the function x equals to positive square root of y over 2. And the left hand side will be uh, x equals to negative square root of y over 2. Now we want this region, right? We're going to take this function as our function to be integrated. So just put in the, the, the function, we integrate from the uh, 1 to 4. And the function is a square root of uh, y over 2. We're going to integrate with respect to y. You can take out the 1 over 2 first. And uh, convert your square root of y into y power of 1 over 2. Then we can start integrate. Integrate y power of 1 over 2. You just uh, add the power by 1. You have this. You can simplify first before you substitute. You have a 2y, 3 over 2 over 3, from 1 to 4. You even can take out the 2 over 3 if you want. 
the coefficient 2 over 3, you even can take it out, and the 2 uh, simplify, you have. They got one, um, so you get 1 over 3, and you have a y equals to 3 over 2. And now substitute in your 4. You have a 4 power of 3 over 2 minus 1 power of 3 over 2. What you have now is uh, uh, 2, that will be 8 minus 1. So basically you have a 7 over 3 unit square.